Hi everyone, this is QO again. So in this video, I'm going to introduce what geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is. And we're going to take a look at foam tolerance as well. Let's take a look at the definition of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. I'm going to call it as a GDNT. So GDNT is a system for defining and communicating engineering tolerances. It basically tells the manufacturing staff and machines what degree of accuracy and precision is needed on each controlled feature of the part. GDNT is used to define the nominal geometry of parts and assemblies, to define the allowable variation in form and possible size of individual features, and to define the allowable variation between features. So, it's about parts compatibilities each other. Let's have an example. So on this drawing, width and length are constrained as normal dimension. Anyone could tell this is a rectangular shape feature. So staff manufactured this part according to this drawing, but then the part came out just like this and you measure the edge of the part. They are in the allowable variation. But if you actually measure this area, which is close to the center of the part, they are out of the allowable variation. Now you can see why GDNT is really for. Basically, designer wants you to manufacture the part geometrically perfect, but it's not possible in reality. So, the allowable variation has given in a geometrical shape, not just the uh, normal dimension. Because if you only just inspect the tip of the part, which is the edge, this part can be passed. But it's actually failure. Okay, so the first, foam tolerance. Foam tolerance is individual feature. So it does not require any reference data and there are four different kinds straightness flatness circularity cylindric city please refer to the symbols right here and let's take a look at the definition straightness an extent of a line that is out of geometrical line flatness an extent of a plane that is out of the geometrical plane. Circularity. An extent of circular feature that is out of geometrical circle. Cylindric city. An extent of a cylindrical feature that is out of geometrical cylinder. So they are all mentioning geometrical feature. So the first example, straightness. There is this geometrical line which was calculated by least square method with these five points. So the geometrical line works as a nominal reference. And all those five points have deviation from that line. And there are maximum deviation and a minimum deviation among those points. And then absolute sum of Maximum deviation and the minimum deviation would be the actual value of straightness of this line. But there is this tolerance range, as you can see. So as long as within the tolerance range, this line's straightness is in the allowable variation. And next, flatness. As you can see here, geometrical plane, also which was calculated by the square method with these eight points. And that geometrical plane works as nominal references, and then all the points have deviations from it. And you can see the flatness tolerance range. So the max so the absolute 
so the absolute sum of maximum deviation and minimum deviation is in is the actual flatness of this plane and if the flat if the flatness is in the range of the tolerance area then it's okay circularity is one as you can see geometrical circle circularity tolerance and the absolute sum of max deviation minimum deviation all same principle and the cylindric city now you can see the geometrical cylinder here the blue and also the tolerance area of cylindric city and with these 16 points you can see the uh, maximum deviation and minimum deviation so absolute sum of maximum deviation and minimum deviation is from tolerance and uh, uh, additionally you can see this result window And on that result, you can see this SMMF, 8 points, STD max mean F value. So let me tell you what these things are for. So STD means standard deviation, max means maximum deviation, mean means minimum deviation, F means own deviation. So here you can see the form deviation is actually the same value as the plane's flatness. The value of F is all this form tolerance or it can be profile of line and surface. We're going to look at the profile tolerance later. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thank you.